Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead and uh, still watching a very slow moving cold front, which for the past several days has been producing thunderstorms across Oklahoma and Texas. Some of this activity has been moving across the northern sections of the area, and this front is going to continue to slowly ease its way towards the south and east and uh, taking you basically from a Wednesday night to Thursday. You can see the front will eventually wash out, and then the real front, which will usher in some drier air, will begin to move into the region probably Friday, increasing our rainfall chances uh, for most of the Oracle text. Now, main concern, now we do have a few thunderstorms out there this Thursday afternoon. Uh, some of those thunderstorms, there's a chance one or two could possibly briefly become severe. Uh, SPC does indicate we do have a marginal risk uh, for the rest of the afternoon into the, the evening for this area of green. But the main concern is going to be the heavy rain. You can see a flash flood watch, which is in effect for the northern, basically northeast Texas, much of southwest Arkansas and McCurtain County in southeast Oklahoma as we're looking at the potential for quite a bit of rain here during the course of the next few days. In fact, give you a look at uh, rainfall potential uh, from Futurecast. You can see the model does show these areas of yellow, that's two inches. The orange here, that's four inches. So we could be looking at uh, two to over four inches of rainfall basically over the northwest half of the Oracle Tex. You can see rain will be harder to come by across most of northwest Louisiana and deep east Texas. It's quite possible we will see amounts less than a half an inch in Shreveport and points southeast compared to the two to four inches, obviously, where the rain will be more prominent over the northwest. So let's show you the timing of things here with Robin's Toyota Futurecast. And uh, moving forward during the uh, afternoon and nighttime hours tonight. You can see the main focus for the showers and thunderstorms will be over southwest Arkansas, northeast Texas, and McCurtain County in Oklahoma. We'll see a chance for those scattered uh, thunderstorms for tomorrow, but probably not the coverage that we have, have experienced uh, today, but still a possibility for those showers and thunderstorms. More rain will be possible uh, tomorrow night especially over the uh, north and western sections of the area. And then Thursday, again, more showers and thunderstorms, mainly over the northwest half of the region. And then we'll wait for that front to kind of nudge things to the south and east, and all of us will have a better chance for rain to close out the work week Friday. And behind that first cold front, uh, we will see uh, some drier air, which will allow for cooler conditions uh, for the weekend. Now, overall, take a look at the uh, weather pattern here in the next seven days. There's going to be a second cold front. You see the disturbance, which will uh, is responsible for the rain that we will experience here. Here comes the more significant disturbance. This is going to push a strong cold front through the Arkletex for the middle of next week, and we will be looking at the coolest air in months, probably by the end of next week, with lows in the 50s, highs in the 70s. Meantime, in the tropics, uh, obviously things rather active. We do have Tropical Storm Nana, which is formed uh, in the Caribbean. Fortunately, it looks like it's going to move, fortunately for us, it's going to move more towards the west, cross Central America, and eventually move into the Pacific. It is not expected to move into the Gulf of Mexico, nor will it obviously affect the weather here in the Arkletex. So your forecast here for the next seven days looks like this. Pretty good shot for the showers and thunderstorms, especially northwest half of the Arkletex. We do have that flash flood watch in effect through tomorrow for those areas that I pointed out earlier. And we'll see that decent chance of rain continue through Friday. Notice behind that front coming through, the winds will shift to the north and northeast. Lows will dip into the upper 60s, low 70s compared to the mid to upper 70s that we've seen recently. And then we'll see that second front arrive and that will bring back a chance for some showers and thunderstorms for the middle part of next week. And again, we'll probably have to wait until the end of next week to see that much cooler and much drier air make its way into the region. So we continue to watch thunderstorms over the northwest half of the Oracle Tex. That's where the main focus for heavy rain and a few strong storms will continue to be for the next 24 to 48 hours.